frozen shoulder. Adhesive capsulitis is a painful progressive loss of shoulder motion. It affects both active and passive movement of the shoulder joint. The shoulder is stiff and painful. It occurs due to inflammation, fibrosis, scarring, and contracture of the capsule of the shoulder joint. The capsule is elastic. It allows a great range of motion of the shoulder. With inflammation and thickening of the capsule, the condition will lead to adhesive capsulitis. That frozen shoulder may occur without any specific cause. However, it may be triggered by a mild trauma to the shoulder. This condition develops slowly and goes through three phases. The first phase is pain and freezing. The pain is worse at night, it increases with any movement, and it will last several months. Second phase is stiffness or frozen. The range of motion is limited as the pain is diminishing. It may last up to one year. The third phase is resolution. It may begin to resolve over time. It may last up to three years. This process will take time, sometimes several years. Condition associated with frozen shoulder, diabetes, thyroid problems, autoimmune disease, stroke, rheumatoid arthritis, and also trauma or post-surgery. A patient with frozen shoulder will have loss of both active and passive motion. With the scarring and the fibrosis, the patient will have a frozen shoulder and lose the active shoulder motion. So, you see a lot of your permission to use this video. Mm -hmm. I want to see how far your arm goes and stand up. Come on over here. Had this for about six months. Keeping your arm by your side. Uh, let's raise the right one up first, all the way. That's it, exactly that way, without bending your body at all. Uh, go ahead and raise the other one until it stops. So that's it. Okay, you've had six months, and you've tried different therapies, or? Yeah, I had some PTO with the hospital, and treatment with Dr. Gagnon. Mm-hmm, okay. Also, the patient will have loss of the passive shoulder motion. The external rotation of the shoulder is very limited. The condition is really self-limited and it may resolve by itself. It is better to get an x-rays to rule out degenerative arthritis of the shoulder joint itself. MRI or arthrogram may be needed and it will show a small fluid in the joint cavity. The rotator cuff probably will be normal the synovitis and narrowing of the rotator cuff interval is usually seen. Treatment includes anti-inflammatory medication, physical therapy, injections, manipulation under anesthesia. Be careful so the humerus won't break during the manipulation. Surgery is done when non-operative methods fail.
So now you had your procedure, right? Yeah. You just had it finished. Language. Hard to believe you got your arm back again. Yeah, it's very hard to believe. But you got it. Yeah. <laughs> After six months, you couldn't move it. So what do you think? I think it's a super all right so this is the first day again after your uh, procedure uh, we've just done the one procedure and you're back let's see if you can do it by yourself raising your arm okay. you're gonna breathe you're gonna do this very very nice very very nice very very nice very 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 nice so what do you think now about the trigenics procedure? Are you happy you came, drove 10 hours to come to Toronto to get it done? Uh, I, will, um, I will come back if it happens again. It, well, it's not going to happen again. <laughs> I, no, it won't, because I will do exercise. That's right, yeah. that's right. Is, uh, so lovely. for you, it was the right thing to do? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, great. shoulder maybe just uh, I don't know even three four months ago I didn't notice it gradually coming along it just seemed all of a sudden I couldn't um, you know like wash my hair or I can't or put my hand on my hip or do anything and it was a lot of pain um, so I did um, deep I, I, this is someone I know that does origin insertion therapy and we tried that and then deep muscle therapy tried that try to break up the um, adhesions by the scapula and um, nothing was really working acupuncture some Tui Ma Chinese medicine and nothing was working in the meantime I was uh, trying to research on the computer and one way or another I noticed trigenics and the more I read about it I, I'm an occupational therapist so I have an understanding of muscle and nerve connections and the um, skeletal system and everything and what I read and heard about trigenics really um, clicked with, with me. And then when I called and I was asked to send in a little video of my movements my, or my ligament and movements, and then I got a phone call from Dr. Austin himself on my cell phone that's still on there, <laughs> saying that I look like I'm quite a good candidate for this particular procedure, and I was very glad, and here I am. And so yesterday... She came out from Florida I, and from came Florida, in yesterday. from Florida, I'm staying with my sister and Toronto. her husband. Mm -hmm. It was a very amazing experience that, in some way, to, that um, Dr. Austin and two other women held me in such a way and brought my arm all the way up. And I'm used to a lot of pain in my life from my hip, from giving birth and everything, but this was, I didn't know what was going to happen and I just shouted out, sorry. <laughs> I was like, ah, and I felt my whole arm go up and I felt like a million, um, adhesions popping, 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 mm -hmm. all at once, like a big crackle. And then um, my arm was up, and um, it's, it's still hard to bring it up, and I understand now that it's not just the adhesions, but the muscles that had atrophied over this time are now what's causing the pain. Mm -hmm. Is my understanding? That's right. Yeah. So as I build them up again, little by little by little, mm -hmm. and they strengthen that pain also should go uh, disappear, and then I'm going to be a regular person. <laughs> <laughs> so you're really happy you got the procedure, huh? I'm yeah. very happy and I am amazed that, um, if I may, that Dr. Austin was able to in some way take all that information we have about the human body and apply it in a certain way that and that it actually worked and all that um, thinking and effort on your part. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, to, like, I, to go like this, you know how people stand like that? Yeah. So I was like this. Now, yeah. You couldn't, you couldn't. You couldn't do that at all. Not yeah. Do that at all. Yeah. And that's like a normal. Well, it's going to take a few days for a little bit of the inflammation from the procedure to come down. Combing my hair, all mm -hmm. that was very inaccessible. It'll take a few days for the inflammation from the procedure because we had to actually uh, manually dissect the tissue, and so there's going to be some inflammation, which is why you're doing your, your exercises every hour on the hour for the next three days. Okay. That's why, and that's why you're sleeping with your arm up. Okay. So what about uh, behind your back? Let's see. Right. Yeah. Now I bring it up as this. Uh, good. Let's see behind the back. That's it. 
Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, let's turn around. Well, no, I'm just going to ask you now. What do you think from, come on over here. What do you think overall about this procedure? Are you happy you came from Florida, came all the way up um, to yeah. Canada? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because um, even though I know I have a road ahead of me of um, consistent work, mm -hmm. you paved the road because before I wasn't even mm -hmm. there. I couldn't mm -hmm. even get You couldn't there. do anything like that, yeah. So I'm very... Um, you were sitting on the No one else is going to do that. No one else is going to take my arm and push it up there not knowing what they're going to... If you don't know what you're doing, you cause damage. Absolutely. Like you knew, I knew because when you were having everyone hold me in a certain way, mm -hmm. it was one moment that you said to someone, no, just a little over this way. Mm -hmm. And I, I understood that that could make a huge difference. Yeah, absolutely. So I yeah. wouldn't want anyone to touch me like that, but you knew what you were doing. <laughs> I was very trusting even though I was... Apprehensive. It was like, yeah, a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> this for five months. You've just come out from Florida to get this fixed. Right, and let's see the good side all the way up as far as you can go. That's as good as you can go on that side, huh? Now keep that arm up and let's see the other side. Okay, good. You've had it for five months. Have your permission to use this video? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay, good. That's normal. Slowly down. Slowly down. Good. Try to raise it up yourself without the wall. Come on. Come on. Okay, you need the wall a little bit because the muscle's not there. Yeah. Yeah, the muscle's not there. Sharon, you just came in yesterday to have your uh, OAT, the yes. Lawson Trigenics procedure. You flew all the way up from Florida to Toronto to get it done. And this is the day after. And uh, let's see what you can do with your shoulder now. Raise it up. And turn it the other way. Put both hands up. And what do you think of that? Amazing. Yesterday was nowhere near this. Where was it yesterday? Do you remember where it was? More like here. Yep. You can't believe that. Yes. And hey. I, can, I can do that. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. What do you think about anybody else that wants to get that procedure done? Uh, it's an amazing procedure. So what else can you do? Well, before I had to do all kinds of strange well, things to get my hair. Done. Yeah. And now what can you do? Doing everything else that I've done. I can. You. I can keep my head off. Yeah. Hold on. And I can put my rope, my uh, thing on. You can't believe that. Right. Okay. That was a big issue. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Anything to say to all the people out there that got frozen shoulder? Oh. Um, yes, I know it's uh, it's a difficult journey, but it, there is help. And um, um, there is, uh, Dr. Austin definitely worked on a procedure that can help. That does help. Here you are, uh, the day after your procedure. You're flying, yeah, okay, and going up. Very nice, huh? All right, so, and you had that frozen shoulder for six months, and you were really in rough shape, weren't you? Huh? And you flew all the way from 
England, London, England to Estonia to get the procedure done. And this is your second day now and you're going to fly home tomorrow. Oh, you're even doing that one up behind the back. Very, very nice. Very nice. That's very, very nice. Yeah, you're going to be able to do that. <laughs> okay, so what do you think about the procedure? And that one's good too. You put both hands up like that. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Just a little tiny bit, but it's, that'll come in one week. Well, that's great. Good for you. So what do you think about uh, anybody who wants to go? Anybody who wants to do it must do it because it's totally worth it. It's freedom back. Look what I'm doing.